All right. So if you're ready for today's class, give me a ready in the chat box. Okay, ready, put a ready in the chat box. All right, let me do a quick recap on what we did on the last class. So uh, in Leisure, I talk about what? I talk about debit dan credit. Okay, bagaimana uh, you book up account Leisure. So this is the format. Done. All right, so I already go through the first question with all of you. Okay, so I'm pertama. Okay, so this is what we did in last class, right? So you need to do uh, the debit credit side, you know, and I say uh, for ledger, I don't care if it is ledger or buku cahan pertama, as long as inilah accounting, then we need to use what? We need to use system catatan begu. And apa tu sistem catatan begu? Sistem catatan begu maksudnya apabila kita debit satu account, then kita mesti credit account lain. Maksudnya, at least whenever we do any recording for any urus niaga, so when there is one urus niaga, they must have dua account. So satu debit, satu credit. And this is what we did. Alright, so... Are you all clear with last class? Like what we did for the first question. If you all are clear, give me a C in the chat box. Type C. Okay, make sure yourself is clear about it because this thing, this debit and credit thing is going to stay with you for the rest of your life if you uh you are planning to do something related to accounting all right so even bukan sahaja accounting if you go to college ke university if you ambil subject like business you no know, perniagaan or finance okay even though the the course bukan accounting the degree is not accounting but there are few subjects will be for accounting. So at the end, you still have to come back to debit and credit side. All right. If you are doing something towards the business related field, unless you are saying that you are going into science, you're not jadi doctor, you want to do medicine or biotechnology, biochemical technology, bio, uh, biotechno chemistry, I don't know. Lah, okay. So all this bio, bio thing, if you're doing all these things like researchers or so on, then it won't be touching this thing. Okay, but as long as you're in the business, risk management, finance, international business, you know, all this business-related thing, you will surely touch on accounting, the basic one, which is this thing, that be a credit, the ledger. All right? So make sure you just, you don't waste time, make sure you master it now. All right? So... For this, the first question, we did it from perkataan into ledger. Okay, I call it like ayat, right? Because all these are like ayat, right? We just niaga dalam ayat form. Okay, but now when we look at the second question, can you see what this is? Look familiar, right? Okay, macam pernah tengok before, yeah. All these are actually what? These are all buku catatan pertama. So for ledger, right? Okay, we can actually, the soalan actually can ask you from the ayat to ledger. Okay, which is this one. Soalan number satu. Or the second type of question, which is from buku Catatan pertama to ledger. So both of these things you must know. All right, because uh, they might ask you in the exam. Okay, so one really done. Now we go for the second question. All right, so how are we gonna translate? Okay, tukar 
daripada buku catatan pertama ini ke dalam ledger. Okey. Okay, so are you ready for question two? If yes, type two in the chat box. Okay, good. All right, so actually, right. This buku cahaya pertama, ledger is lebih senang. Easier. Why? Because all these are buku cahaya pertama, right? And in buku cahaya pertama, they normally sudah buka account for you. I mean, like, they already tell you what account you need to open. Like, tunai, bank, tunai runcit, lengkapan, inventory. Kan? And then you sure we know what to debit. And what to credit? Okay, so okay, let's start. Let's start. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So first, draw out your ledger. So maybe in the beginning, you can do this if you want to. Here is a tarik, butiran. Polio and amount. Okay, something like that. All right. Then here will be the debit side. And here on the credit is the credit side. Okay, and then you need to like after the tarik here, the first line should be all the important date and the currency. Like tarik here for this question, you are twenty twenty one. So you put twenty twenty one down to twenty twenty one. Then the amount here in ringgit Malaysia. Okay. All right. And then here, okay, so let's start from, okay, so when we're doing ledger, okay, from here to the ledger, this part, we keep it equal tarik. Okay, we go one by one according to the tarik, like this one is January 1st, January 3rd, January 5th, January 2nd, January 11th, 12th, 13th, okay, we go like one, two, three, four, like that. All right, so that it will be easier. You won't get confused. Hey, and don't forget there is a buku tuna runcit here. Okay, and then the second thing I need to tell you is when you see something like buku tuna here and buku tuna runcit, okay, then we don't need to book up this account. So there are three accounts. So under buku tuna, there is tuna and bank, right? And then for buku tunai runcit is uh, tunai runcit. So there are three accounts that we don't need to open. Number one is account tunai, account bank, and three is account tunai runcit. Okay, why don't we have to buka? Kenapa? Tak perlu. Because when you look at this buku tunai runcit, right? What does it look like? It actually look a little bit like a ledger. Can you see a T here? And then can you see a Tunai and Bankasini? All right. So therefore, the Tunai and Bank actually 
is like a ledger. So this bank is actually something like this already. So the debit and credit side. So the debit side will be the bank here, and then the credit side will be here. But uh, same goes to the two nine. Two nine is the same thing. If you change this to two nine, then here will be the two nine. Okay, now. All right. So therefore, when you have a book tonight, we don't need to book a account tonight. We don't need to book a account bank. But for discount delivery, yes, we need to. Discount determiner, yes, we need to. Why? Because look at this discount delivery. The discount delivery is only on the debit side. We don't have discount delivery for credit side. No, because on the credit side is actually a discount determiner. Therefore, if we keep the other discount delivery like this one, then we need to book a ledger for account discount delivery. Do you understand or not? If yes, give me a yes in the chat box. Okay, great. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so, so just now the same explanation is to this Tuna Runchita uh, because Tuna Runchita, this Panerima is actually a debit and Pomaya is actually a credit side. That's why you can see there is a Baki HB, Baki BB here. Baki HB, Baki BB. And then for the Baki HB, Baki BB, do you still remember? Kita ta apply HB ni bagi discount determiner. Ah, is it not? Right? Okay, so let's go, go back. So we start off with first January. So tonight, Tapalu, Bank Tapalu, Tuna Rinchi Tapalu. Because this Tuna Bunya Baki, 7,600 is already in the Buku Tuna Bunya Tuna. Can you see now? 7,600. 50,600 for bank. So you look back. 50,600 is already in. All right, Tuna Rinchi, the same thing. 50 is already in. So now we only need to record this thing. Okay, so now the first account, let's put account Lankapan. All right, account Lankapan. So this is what? This is asset the model pada tarik ini. Maksudnya, this is actually a baki. Baki awal. Ini bukan memulakan penegaan. If it is memulakan penegaan, you need to remember how you did for your general arm, all right, or your ledger. If it is a memulakan penegaan, then you need to debit asset and credit your model. All right, this is for memulakan penegaan. But then for this one, you have baki. So when you have a baki, what you do? You just straight away put baki bb. Simple. And you see this twenty four thousand is kat mana? Got debit side, therefore in your debit side, you put Baki BB, 24,000. Is it very senang je? So on January 1st. Okay, then you do the same thing, you copy paste. And I mean, you book out the same uh, format for account inventory. So maybe you can move this thing. So it's like when the second account, you don't need to put all you need, you don't need to write debit credit again. Okay, it's time wasting. All right, so you don't need to do that. You don't need to write all the tari butir and follow amount again. You just need to write once. This is Hatukali for the first one is really enough. The second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on, you just do accordingly in the same alignment. Okay, it could amount, it could tari, okay, it could need. Then it's so that All right. Okay, then same thing, lengkapan, uh, 42,600 is in the debit side. So therefore, debit, you put Baki BB, 42,600. Then use smoothie lines, and then you go to account, you book us to account model. Then for your account model, can you see now, this 124850 is where? is in the credit side. Therefore, account model here, January 1st, Baki BB, one, two, four, eight, 
five oh okay. right okay are you okay with the first one if yes give me one in the chat box bagi satu dalam chat box Okay, so this is uh, for January 1st. So when you have Baki, you just throw in all the Baki BB. All right? Okay, then you continue. So as a first, you look for the nearest date. Like what? Like here, second. All right, so you look for all the second. Okay, so second. Another second. Okay, this one. In check Yusuf. So... Intrigue yourself is in which account? Journal, journal, maksudnya, all right, I have to buka satu intrigue yourself dulu. And this intrigue yourself is in account, journal, maksudnya, all these are actually your ABT. Account belum terima. All right, so you buka satu account belum terima. In check you solve. Right. Okay. Then for this account journal, all right. Okay, can you see the credit side? Maksudnya, when we have account jualan, when we record account jualan, kita mesti credit account jualan. So, if we credit account jualan, then we must debit another account. Then, the another account that we debit will be the in check Yusuf. Therefore, in the debit side here, you put January 2nd, and then you put jualan, which is 3,520. Yeah, so this is in the uh, debit side. Okay, then you'll be wondering, what about account jualan? Because when we debit, we must credit jualan, right? Okay, so this account jualan, later we will come back. Okay, you just leave it as it is first because this account jualan is a bit special for, for this, uh, from buku catatan pertama, Okay, account journal we will record it a little bit different. Okay, later you will know what. All right, so but now you just put it that way 3520 for the ABT in Chik Yusuf, and then so that's done for the second. Okay, you look for another second. Okay, can you see or not? Number two. Okay, so this thing we need to record for insurance. Okay, so let's skip a few lines and do for account insurance. Okay, normally you can skip about five to six lines. All right. So this is account insurance. Okay, can you say not account insurance? I credit my account bank. Or we say credit buku tonight. But then if kita like this specific, this is actually credit account bank because it's under uh, bank when you call them lah. Okay, 2400 ringgit. So, kita credit bank. So, when we credit bank, then in the account insurance, kita mesti debit. All right. So, January 2nd. Here, you write back. Very minute. Don't write about the bank. So, here you put bank. Which is 2,400. Okay. Then second, ada lagi second lah. Ah, ini okay. So, hmm, this ala tulis ah, ala tulis. I think we can straight away 
Okay, hold on, uh, let me check this. I like to do this thing because you can actually do it two ways or you just follow the thing. Okay, let me check. Uh, give me a second. Because I'm thinking whether uh, we should record it like how we record for the Jualan. Just go in Satu Jumla or we need to break down the figure. Okay, just give me a second. 15. Yep. Okay. So actually, right, for this Bukutuna Runchila, okay, you don't need to go one by one. Okay. This one later, I'll show you how. So you just leave it first, even though there is a second. Cassini. So accordingly, we should record this one, right? Okay, but we don't need to. Okay, later I will show you how for this one. So you just skip this one first. We just complete all the one that atasini. All right. So after that, so we done for the second up to here. Then we go back. So we look for third. No, okay. Number that. Okay, third. So you do this one. Ambulan and Berlin, right? So you book up account ambulan. Account and account above Berlin, right? Okay, so we put Berlin. Okay, account Bilan debit. So in the debit side, we put like straight away the answer is there already. Okay, but booty run, you write the other account. So let's say dalam account ambulan, you debit, then you put this name, Berlian Gassini, and then you write back the figure, 1,100. Okay, when I debit ambulan, I must credit Berlian, right? So in the account Berlian here, I credit. Okay, I put January, third, same. And then now, because I'm writing for Berlian, therefore I need to write another name of the account in my booty run, which is the Ambilan. And the figure must be the same, 1,100. So after third, you look, third, 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 is there? And yeah, the third, okay, we don't care about Buku Tunang Rinchit first. Okay, after third is fourth, empat. Okay, look for empat. Ada empat tak? Okay, ada empat, then we look for fifth. No, lima. Ah, see, right. Okay. So, Pembekal Fisher, and this is general Berlian, meaning this Pembekal Fisher is actually the account belum bayar. So, then we can book a satu uh, account belum bayar lah, right? Account belum bayar. Then you write the name. What is the name? Pembekal Fisa or Fisher. Okay. So for this, right? Now, can you see or not? If for account Berlian, kita apa? Kita debit. So if kita debit account Berlian, maksudnya we have to credit our account belum bayar Pembekal Fisher here. So January 5th, to mana? To Berlian because this is under general Berlian account Berlian. So here you write Berlian and you write the figure 11,050. Okay, but what about Berlian side? Okay, Berlian side, don't record it first. Okay, we wait until 31st. Just like your jawline, we don't care about jawline first. Okay, so later. All right, so are you following so far? If yes, give me an F in the chat box. Okay. All right. So after fifth, 
what is the next date after fifth we go to six look for six other six star six no six then seven i don't think that is seventh then we go to eighth we did which is this one right in check yusuf okay in check yusuf eh macam nampak tadi kan okay in check yusuf tadi sudah buka ini account belum terima in check yusuf and we kita ada apa pulangan jalan all right so if kita record dalam account pulangan jalan kita apa kita debit account pulangan jalan so if kita debit account pulangan jalan then we must credit another account which is the account abt in check yusuf Right, because debit, credit, credit, debit. So if sini tulis debit, pulangan jalan, then I must credit my Inchik Yusuf. So in the credit side here, you put January 8th and dari mana? Dari pulangan jalan. Okay, pulangan jalan. And this is 160. Okay, same thing. All this journal belian, journal pulangan belian, journal jualan, pulangan jalan, all this journal, right? We don't need to record for all these small date. We record at the final date, date which is 31st, which is later. All right? But for the 8th here, we only record for the ABB and ABT, like this one. 8th of January, under Inchik Yusuf. Okay, then 8th, we done. Okay, so after 8th, uh, we were date. Um, 5th done, 8th done. Okay, then that will be 11th, right? So, ini. Inchik Yusuf again, 11th. Yeah, so here what happened? Kita debit discount debris. So we, we got discount debris. So later I have to book up satu account and give account discount debris. So let's book up satu account discount debris to do discount debris. Okay, what happened? Discount debris kita debit. All right, in the debit side, huh? so I debit. So in the debit side here, I debit the date January 11th. Okay, so Sabtu, Sabtu, Sebelas. Okay, here you write what? Put your sini apa? In check Yusuf. So here you can write, maybe here, tadi I already book a account account, ABT, account volume terima, in check Yusuf. So here you can put account volume terima, in check Yusuf. How much is it? This one, three, three, six. Three, three, six. Okay, now see ah. So when I debit my discount debris, then I must take credit my in check Yusuf lah, right? Because debit credit my right. Okay, so here eleven discount debris. Three three six. All right. Okay. Then this is done ready for bank. I told you we don't have to book our account bank because you just started book it tonight. Okay. So for bank here, same thing. I really debit my bank. Therefore, I have to credit my inchik Yusuf here. So here you put bank. How much? Three. Zero two four. Okay, three zero two four. That's it. So then we done for eleven. Do you understand or not? If okay, give me a eleven in the chat box. Satu satu. Right. So it's actually the same thing. All right. Just that we. It's not that we don't need to record, we don't need debit and credit because kita sudah debit account bank. This is actually the account bank. This is that we are not writing it again. Kerana kita sudah ada buku tonight. Therefore, we don't need to go and write buka satu account for account bank lagi and go and debit again. No, we don't have to. Sudah debit, therefore now I need to do another one which is the credit side. And credit what? Credit the inch user which is shown here. And then this one, I told you because when this is not the uh, account yang betul because there is no debit and credit side for the discount delivery. Therefore, I need to have satu account. I need to write out again so that it has a debit and credit side for the discount delivery. 
All right, that's why I need to rewrite it again out. Okay, but for tonight and bank, tonight the debit side, tonight the credit side pun. Bank ada debit side, bank ada credit side juga. But for this one, delivery hanya ada debit side, the other credit side. And then this one, the terima ada credit side, tapi the other debit side. Ah, that's why I need to buka mereka. Okay, so that's it for Inchik Yusuf on 11th. After 11th will be uh, 13. All right, ini lengkapan. 13. So on here, you can see that kita apa? Credit account bank. Because this 8,000 is under bank and is in the credit side. Therefore, kita telah credit bank and I must what? I must debit my lengkapan now. So you go to your lengkapan and debit 13 from bank. Amount is 8,000. See? Zip. After fifth. This is 13 or 15, actually. Let me check. Oh, 13. Ah. Okay, 13. Done, 13. Okay, so after 13, uh, 16. All right, okay. So you can see 16, there is a jawline. Okay, so this one, we can record for jawline. All right. So you look for jalan jalan no account jalan right okay then you buka satu account jalan maybe I'll go to another on the right here okay so account jalan The credit side. Why credit? Okay, see ah, this join is where in the debit side of what of two nine. Can you see now? This is under two nine in the debit side. Maksud kita telah debit account two nine, and now I have to credit join. So you book account join here and credit it from two nine. Thousand five hundred twenty. All right, so that's sixteen done. Okay, after sixteen will be nineteen. The pembuka fisher tadi sudah buka right. Okay, so nineteen there are two things ah. See carefully. The pembuka fisher and balance. So pembuka fisher sudah buka tak? Eh, kita sudah buka account uh ABB for pembuka fisher. All right, so this pembuka fisher six thousand four hundred is under bank. And it is in where? In the credit side. Maksudnya, kita telah credit account bank. Credit account bank. Alright. So, when kita, if kita telah credit account bank, sekarang kita perlu apa? Debit. Debit apa? Pembekal fisher. So, ABB pembekal fisher tadi sudah buka. So, you don't have to buka again. So, now in the debit side, you record. January 19 and then write what from where from bank right okay so you put bank the 6300 so for 19 okay I mean not done yet okay after Pembuka Fisher we got satu lagi account for Berlian right okay look for Berlian do we have account Berlian or not so I buka tak uh, okay tadi sudah buka kat sini okay so look at this Berlian Figure kat mana? The amount is under 29. 2,400 under 29. Okay. And this 29 is which side? Debit or credit side is in the credit side. Maksud, kita telah credit 29. If kita telah credit 29, then now I have to debit. Debit apa? Debit. Berlian. Okay, the account Berlian here. Debit. January. 19. Okay, and then you write from where? ABB, Pembekal, Fisher. How much? Uh, 6,400. Okay, so done. 
19. Then we go to 20. Other 20, da, 20. If no 20, you go to 21st. Other 21st, da, 21st, 22nd. 23rd, 23rd, no 22nd, right? Okay, the other 22nd, huh? Okay, 23rd, this one. Now go to this one. Kedai Saifu. Kedai Saifu under Jana Maksuna, this is the ABT, lah. All right. So you book up account balloon terima Kedai Saifu. Account. Belum terima kedai saifu. Saifu. It's the same thing. Look at when you look at your account jalan, mesti credit me. So if we credit account jalan, maksudnya we have to debit our kedai saifu. So here debit side with Jan third from uh, how Jolan? So here put Jolan, and this is two nine seven six. Okay, after twenty third, after twenty fourth or not? Twenty fourth, twenty fifth, no, then twenty sixth lah. Ini. Okay, so you got promosi and belian. So. We buka satu account promosi because kita belum buka lagi. So, we buka sekarang. Uh, account promosi. Promosi. Okay, so, account promosi. Where? In the debit side 500. So, debit side 500. And what do we write? Booty run. The, the other account which is Berlin. So, we put Berlin. And then for this billion is where in the credit side 500. So you write for your account billion credit side here. Write another name of the account, which is promosi. You put that promosi 500, same figure must be. Okay, and then same date, which is 26. Done. Okay, after 26, then you go for the last one, 28th, the saver. This one. All right, but you're not sure. Is it a saver D buyer at a saver D terima? Okay, but before that, check first. This 1200 is under bank. All right, and is what credit side, meaning kita telah credit account bank. Right, because this is in the credit side of the bank. So if kita telah credit account bank, then we have to debit saver. Right, so kita buka satu account saver and debit kan? account saver. Okay, and if you know that this account saver kita perlu debit, meaning this saver is actually a saver dibayar, is a belanja. Very simple. You see, it's in the credit side. Credit side means what? Money goes out. Or in another term, on the credit side, mostly are what? Kita bayar. Maksud apa? Kita bayar, sewa. Therefore, this is called a account sewa dibayar. Alright, so this is 1200 Dari pada bank. So, put you run here, you put bank, you write the name of this account. And then this is on 28th. So far, you guys, okay, have you? Completed up until 28th. If yes, give me a 28th in the chat box. Okay, so give you guys time. Uh, The rest fast, fast, fast. All right, so these are all the figures that 
you uh, need to record. All right. Okay, maybe I move this one down. I to put two more. So I put here maybe. Can you see the whole thing or not? Okay. Mm. Ah. okay, only one, two, three, four, five, six done. The rest, she six. Okay, let me ask again if you have done, you give me a D O N E done in your chat box. I don't want to repeat again. Okay, done, done, done. Okay, so but we are not done yet, yeah? Okay, I just showing you up to the 28th. Okay, after that. Okay, you remember just now all the jualan and berlian, pulangan, jualan, all these 31st we haven't recorded yet. Like, we kita credit pemegang official tapi kita belum debit the bullion side so how do we record now so now you go to the 31st right okay so let's say for general bullion so this 31st account bullion 11050 on the debit side so now you go to the bullion the for account bullion here and then which date 31st so you put 31st okay here you put what you put account bullion Buyer, and you put this Joomla figure eleven thousand and fifty. Let me check is there a better word to use other than a Cambulum buyer? Yeah, a Cambulum buyer. All right, because this Berlin is for all. So this a Cambulum buyer includes. Semua account belum bayar yang ada kat sini. But then for this one, only one lah pembuka fisher. But then you just put account belum bayar and you include the jumlah. Okay. Hey, by the way, what put in the credit side? Sorry. Should be in the way. I said debit side, right? So in the debit side of your account, Joran here, you put here. Ah, So this is the correct one. So you put account belum bayar. 11,050. Okay, same goes to your account Jolan. The account Jolan 31st, where? Credit side, right? Okay, so you go to your account Jolan, look for your Jolan, Jolan, Jolan. Here, credit side, put the last date, which is the 31st. And here you put Jolan is linked, always linked to SEPA. All this, all this what? What is this? ABT. Therefore, here you put account balloon. Karina. How much you put a jumla ya? Yeah? Six four nine six. Six four nine six. So this journal is actually credited all the ABT like six four nine six, right? So you, if you check back like Saifu two nine seven six, use two nine seven six plus the ABT just now is which one? In check use of design three five two zero. Oh. So if you add them together, three five two six plus 2976, you will get 6496 juga. This 6496, which is on the credit side of your journal. So for this account journal, right, Mereka sudah ambil jumlah kat sini. So you don't need to do two times. It's just straight away, take the last date and then the jumlah like that. Okay, so that is for your uh, account jualan and then your pulangan jualan same thing. So now tadi kita ada buka account pulangan jualan tak? I don't think so. So now you can buka account pulangan jualan lah, right? So account 
ulangan soalan. Okay, which side? Debit side. Therefore, in the debit side, put the last date, 31st. And then for pulangan jalan, when you see the jalan, you link to account belum terima. And this Yusuf is actually the ABT. Can you see or not? Account belum terima. That's why I put the account belum terima. And then this uh, thing, and then you check Yusuf. All right. So here, uh, Joomla 160. Like that. So you're done. Okay, so all done, 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 done. Okay, lastly, your buku tunan runcit. So how do you record? So you remember when kita buat buku tunan runcit, kita ada apa? Analysis via run. And what is this analysis via run for? This analysis via run, okay, normally kita ada empat, right? Okay, so sometimes ada tiga, okay, according to the question. Okay, tengok uh, soalan bagi apa. Okay, so for here ada tiga. Allah tulis, belanja post, and belanja pejabat. And you can see that all this kertas A420 is already included in your Allah tulis. Kunci pejabat 30 ringgit is already in your belanja pejabat. So all these things sudah dimasukkan ke dalam your analysis bayaran. Lepas tu kita jumlahkan. Is it not? So jumlah for Allah tulis 38, belanja post 35, belanja pejabat 100 15 ringgit. All right. So what we're going to do now, we don't have to do one by one, daddy. So now we just take the jumlah, just like your account jualan, account belian and pulangan jualan here. You can see here. All right. So what you can do here, you straight away book account again. So you book account for alat tulis so you put account alat tulis okay then okay so this alat tulis all is a buyer run all is a belanja you pay now when you go belanja when you buy okay your one keluar therefore you credit so we telah credit buku tunan runcit on the credit side. Can you see now? So if kita telah credit buku tunan runcit, maksudnya we have to debit all this account. So all this alat tulis, we have to debit it. So in the debit side, here, put January, the last day should be 31st. Okay. And then uh, from where? Tunai Runcit. This is actually using Tunai Runcit to pay. How much? 38 ringgit. So you put 38. Okay, so then you put on the account. Account Belanja Post. So you put Belanja Post. Write the title Belanja Post. So same, last date, 30, 31st. Do not ring cheat and then jumlah for belanja for how much? 35 ringgit. So put 35. And this is for belanja pejabat. Do not ring cheat 115. So you put 115. Is it? So you can see that this 38 is included the 20 ringgit of kertas A4 and 80 ringgit of pen and pencil. And for belanja post 35 ringgit telah termasuk apa? The 15 ringgit of the sampo surat, 20 ringgit of post laju. The 115 termasuk apa? 30 ringgit punya uh, kunci pejabat, 25 ringgit punya alas meja, Enam puluh ringgit punya upah cuci tingkap. Right, so this is how we do for this type of question. Do you understand? If yes, give me a yes in the chat box. Oh. 
Okay. So, yes. Then, not done yet. All right. So, we really done posting daripada all this buku cahaya pertama into the ledger. But the last step is what? Kita perlu tutupkan all this account. How do we tutup? Tutup means apa? You bring the HBBB thing. All right. So, let's say for this lengkapan. Okay, so you one line double line. Thirty two thousand. So this is you know, thirty two thousand, and this will be your baki HP. When you have baki HP, you must the other upper baki BB. You know, you just need to do all these things, all right? So you bring that down the same value thirty two thousand. So this is. So the Baki HP and B, the HP should be the last date of the month. The last day. So the, the date for the last day of the month for January is January 31st. Okay, so HB, BB. So BB here will be the next month, which is after January, after 31st, will be the 1st of February. So February 1. Then after February, then we have a new record. Then you continue. All right. So then a commentary because it's just one the other jumlah, right? We don't need to add up anything. So this we can straight away do the double line thing at the bottom. This one. You know, double line. Then this one you bring back this figure 42,600. And here will be your HB. January 31st. Then February 1 will be your. BB. And then you bring down the value from HP. So all these things just do the same. So here will be the bucket HP. HP BB. Category one. Bring down from the HP. Okay. Then for question like this one. So you see there are a lot of figure mark, right? Then you need to add them up. Okay, so add up this tree, see how much you get. 3,520. And then you add up this. Will be 3520 as well, lah, right? So 3520, you put down 3520. So the light in is really clear. We really set the ABT for inch use. So there is no HP or BB. Okay, then we go on to insurance. Then insurance is one thing. So we can sure we do this thing. Just just bottom double bar or double line, two thousand four hundred straight away. HP, okay, HB. Then you got Bucky PB. This will be first of February. So same thing for Ambilan. Yeah. The empty space will be for the HP. And it's really fixed. Uh, the HP should be on the top. Uh, on the same, before the, this bar thing. Uh, okay, after that, the, the thing below the bar will be called the Baki BB. The BB should be got power, HP got atas, like that. Okay, and it should be crossed from here to here. From here to here. You cannot be like HP here, then... You bring down to BB here. I slap your head. It cannot be like that. Uh, this is a bit weird. Okay, you must HB, then you bring down to here BB. So 11,000, sorry, 1,100. Okay, for this billion, you're not sure, my right? Okay, so maybe you can one line double line. 
Okay. Okay, then you see which side is bigger first. That bit is 17,450 and credit only 1,600. Can you see or not? And then the Joomla always take the bigger figure. So we take this one, 17,000. Therefore, the credit have to follow 17,450. So this empty one will be the, the balance, lah, right? The baki. Lah. So how do you get the baki? You use the Joomla. Minus the 1,100 minus the 500 from the promo C. Then you get 15,850. So this 15,850 is your balance, your Baki. Your Baki, HB. Last day, 31st. So HB, you bring down to BB. And this BB will be 15,850 on February 2. Is it not? So it's... Very simple. Okay, so Jalan, same thing. So since Jalan, there is only credit side, you can straight away, we know that the credit side is bigger, lah, right? So here will be 8,016. 8,016 minus zero. 8,016, lah, right? So here, Baki, HP, January, 31st. So HP, you bring down to BB. Okay, so all this is like a very simple one. You can put, should we put the double line in? Because you need to zoom down, right? Oh, shit. Should be double line at the bottom only. In that. Okay, so here. So, key, HP. HP, 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 Now we got February 1. So all this will be Paki BB. Sometimes if they are all the same, then you can just quickly, you know, write it. So HP, BP for sale dibaya yeah, thousand two hundred. Okay, All right. Okay, so it's very simple. Uh. you don't need to see mine. You can just do on your own. It's a very simple thing. Okay, so for this one, then you just skip one line. One line double line. Over. 11,050, 11,050 because credit side is the baby right? 11,050. So the debit side have to follow lah, the gym like 11,050. So you use 11,050 minus, minus 640. Okay. 11,050 minus 640. And you get 4,650. This is your Baki HP. When you have HP, you must have BB. Okay, BB, 4650. This will be your fat one. So, for this one, simple, all right? So, you can just do the one shot double line at the bottom. So for the BB discount delivery from the HP336, and then BB for Pulangan Jualan is 160 like that. Okay, then last will be here. So this one is Sanang also. You can straight away close it like just now. Double line, double line. Should just do this. Shit.
Okay. All right. So HP BB thirty eight for belanja post HP BB thirty five belanja pejabat HP BB one one five. That's it. So this is the answer. This one can be shorter. This one can be shorter. This one. Right, so this is the full answer. Okay, if done, give me a done in the chat box. D O N E done. So I'll give you about two to three minutes, okay, to close everything. All right, so if you have done, you put a done in the chat box. Make sure you really done, huh? then you put up. Okay, so I give you two to three minutes. So done, then you may go and drink some water or go to washroom. All right, so after two, three minutes, I should see more dance from you guys. All right.
Okay, everyone done or not? If done, give me a down in the chat box, yeah. If not, everyone will be waiting for you. But if you haven't done, you still need some more time, then you can just take a photo of it. Okay, just take a photo of this whole thing. And then after the class, then you can update it on yourself because it's just like, it's the same thing. You just need to like do the HPBB stuff. So it's uh, not really hard to do, lah, all right? You just need to be fast. Okay, so uh, I'll move on already. I won't uh, wait for you anymore, all right? Okay, so next, thing what we learn here is called the account Gawalan. Get yeah, ready for this account Gawalan. If yes, you give me an AK in the chat box. Type AK for account Gawalan. Okay. So uh, maybe today I'll cover the account Gawalan balloon terima first. Okay, then next week we go to the Kawalan Bulum Baya. Then after that, I think we are done for chapter five. Okay, so it's actually a short one for chapter five about Lima. Okay, so what is this account Kawalan? Account Kawalan Tujuan Dia. So here I've already given you the Tujuan is to memudahkan jumlah baki keseluruhan account belum terima dan account belum bayar uh, dihitung. And then, Number two, menyemak ketepatan catatan dalam ABT dan ABB dan menyimbangkan ledger arm. Alright, so in summary, this account kawalan is actually to check. You can write down. It's actually to see and to check jumlah Jualan. And let me write here. Jumla Jualan Credit and Jumla Belian Credit. Okay, so account Kawalan Belum Terima is to check the Jumla Jualan. Credit, you see, uh, I write credit here is not jumlah jualan uh, because jumlah jualan is a different thing from jumlah jualan credit. So, is jumlah belian credit different from jumlah belian? All right, so this thing is to find this. Okay, so. Before I talk about this kawalan, so what is the difference between jualan and jualan credit? You have to know that in jualan, there are two types of jualan. There are jualan tunai and jualan credit. What is jualan tunai? Jualan tunai means menjual barang or jualan secara tunai or secara check. So we call it a jualan tunai. But then if you say you draw barang niaga secara kredit atau jualan secara kredit, which is jualan kredit, then uh, that is a different form of jualan. Lah, right? So there are jualan secara tunai and jualan secara kredit. But then when we add them up together, it becomes what? It jadi satu jumlah jualan. So same thing for your bullion. Your jumlah bullion is actually equals to your bullion secara tunai, or we call it your bullion tunai plus the bullion secara credit, which will, which we call it a bullion credit. So do you understand now the difference between jumlah jualan and jualan credit? If yes, you give me a yes in the chat box. Okay, so this is very important, huh? So, when kita nak tahu what is the jualan credit, kita nak just, we just want to know what is the jualan credit, then we can take from account kawalan. We need to do account kawalan belum terima to find the jualan credit. 
the past two, we need to find the journal to know. Where can we find the journal to know? Journal to know, very simple. You just check your buku tonight. Is there already? Okay. And then you might be wondering, like, hey, if journal credit, I can actually show we check my journal journal. Right. Journal journal is actually journal secretary credit. Ma. Okay. Now, you have to know that the journal journal there, belum tolak the journal pulangan journal. There is another journal for journal pulangan journal. You see that? So the journal is just a journal, but then the mereka belum tolakkan pulangan journal. But for your, uh, what we call it, the account kawalan belum terima, they give you the whole sum. So this is the format. You see now, this is the format for account kawalan belum terima, where they record all the pulangan jualan, the discount dipari, if kita ada hutang lapor, we throw it in, and then you buy a berapa dengan bank, you put it in, and we get the jualan here. This journal is actually the journal secara credit. Alright. And then this is faedah titerima atau you ada cek talaku, you ada discount diberi, dipataukan. If discount, tadi kita beri discount. Okay, if discount dipataukan, then I have to debit it. Alright. And then we have HB and BB. So for this one, sometimes they will have some special case where America are the dual HB guys in it. Can you see or not? Okay, then it all depends on the question. And uh, later, when we are doing the questions, then I'll explain it to you one by one. All right, then you understand. And then also including all this hutang. What is hutang lapo? Huh. So all these things you will learn later. Okay, so now, in the account kaulam belum terima, this is the format. So whenever you see there is a pulangan jualan bank or this one debris, it should be in the credit side. And for all these things, jualan, faedah diterima, other check that laku, it will be in the debit side. And remember, remember, there are three things, tiga benda that you tak perlu record dalam your account kawalan belum terima. The first thing, your jualan tonight. Can you see? Tadi I already explained to you in the jualan, kita ada jualan tonight and jualan credit. And in this kawalan belum terima, kita don't have to record jualan tonight. Why? Because in kawalan belum terima, kita hanya nak tahu what is the amount for the jualan credit. Therefore, jualan tonight tak relevant ke sini. You understand or not? Alright? So, you don't have to record jualan tonight walaupun soalan bagi, you just ignore it. No, you just ignore it. Okay. Then the second thing is the peruntukan uh, hutang ragu. Okay. Because a lot of students, they will confuse between hutang lapo. So you, you, you number hutang lapo ke sini, which, is need, which we need to record. Okay. But students tend to see, uh, you know, when they see this hutang lapo, they tend to think that when you see hutang, peruntukan hutang ragu, then you need to record in the uh, account kawalan belum terima. And then when you see hutang lapu i, same thing, then we need to record in ABT, uh, account kawalan belum terima, which is no, salah. Alright? So, we only record hutang lapu saja. Only dua perkataan. Hutang lapu, then we record. If you see hutang lapu terpulih, no, don't have to record. When you see hutang, uh, sorry, Peruntukan hutang ragu, tiga perkataan, no, throw it, even though you nampak hutang-hutang. Do you understand? If yes, you give me a yes in the chat box. All right. Okay. 9.46. Scale will delay your time for this question. Okay, never mind. I just give you an introduction. Let's continue to kawalan belum bayar. Yeah, I'll just explain to you. And then next week, we only start to do the first question for the kawalan. All right. Okay, now, when you look at this kawalan belum bayar, you can see that 
is actually the same thing, but they put it in a different site. Nice, right, yeah. The bank, do some comparison. In accounting, it's good to do comparison. Let's say the bank here for volume terima is in the credit side. You see the bank here. Okay. For kawalan belum bayar, the bank will be in the debit side. Discount debris is in the credit side of your ABT. But discount diterima is in the debit side. Pulangan belian in the debit side. When you have a pulangan, a pulangan jualan, you're in the credit side. Of course, you can never see a pulangan belian here. You know, because this is what? Account kawalan belum terima. Belum terima is linked to what? Linked to your, always linked to jualan punya. And belum buy is always linked to your belian. Therefore, you only can have pulangan jualan for your account belum terima and pulangan belian for your belum bayar. Alright? And discount diterima is for belian lah, right? Because when you buy thing, kita nak terima discount. When you jual barang, you perlu berikan discount. That's why discount delivery is with your belum terima while your discount terima is with your belum bayar. Right? Then you can see that the belian is in the credit side. And this belian, take note, the same as this one is a belian credit. And therefore, because this thing, kita nak, apa? Kita nak cari belian credit. So, no belian tunai. So, when you see a belian secara tunai, or we call it a belian tunai, no, we don't need to record here. Right? So, you put it, um, you know, belian is here. And if you see angkutan maso, faedah dibayar, all this like a belanja thing, it will be in the credit side. Right? Why? Because they actually increase your liability. You have to know that, for kaulan belum terima, okay, it's like an ABT. ABT is what? It's an asset. And then for account kaulan belum bayar is what? It's like a liability. L. Okay. And if you remember the abalim, the A here is for asset, L for liability. So if your asset bertambah, then you have to debit your asset. If your liability bertambah, then you have to credit your liability. It's like that. Okay, this is for apabila bertambah. If berkurang, then very easy. You just flip this. Aba lim. You be like that now. It will be lim aba. Maksudnya, if you nak mengurangkan baki, let's say asset, what you do? You credit. So when you credit your asset, then your asset will go down. Correct that? When you debit your asset, your asset will go up. Okay, contoh, your account bank. Account bank is an asset. Betul tak? Okay, so when kita debit, maksud apa? Duit kita lebih banyak. We got more money lah in our bank account. But then when we credit our bank, maksudnya, wang keluar. When wang keluar, the money in our bank go lesser, go kurang. That's why this is how Abalim work. So if you know your asset bertambah, belanja bertambah, uh, your ambilan bertambah, you just debit. If you want your liability bertambah, you just credit your liability. Lah. You credit your hasil. If you want your hasil bertambah, like your jalan. If jalan is getting more, if bertambah, adding, then how do we do? We actually credit our jualan. That's why it's in the credit. But then, if you nak kurangkan your jualan, that's when we debit our hasil. That's why it's like that. So this bertambah is for abalim. If you want to berkurang, then you just change side. You just flip, become a lim abah. So come back to here. This account kawalan belum terima is an asset. Betul tak? So this asset, if we nah, kita, kita punya asset bertambah, if we want our account kawalan belum terima bertambah, we just have to debit it. Correct or not? Because it's an asset. 
So, how do we bertambahkan our ABD? Kita jual more. We just jual more secara kredit. Kita jual lebih banyak secara kredit dan our ABD akan bertambah. Another one. Faedah diterima. Kita terimakan faedah. Then, ABD bertambah. Then, uh, if ada cek tak laku, diskon diberi dipatahkan, maksudnya ABD akan bertambah. If you nak berkurangkan your account belum terima, very simple. When ada pulangan jualan, kita pulang, mereka pulangkan uh, barang yang kepada kita. Then, mereka punya ABD akan berkurang. Lah. If mereka bayar kepada kita, then ABT will go down. Lah. All this discount, hutang, we actually reduce your baki dalam ABT. So same thing. For ABB, because it's a liability, therefore when you want to tambah your liability, you just credit. Therefore when you buy more, when you beli banyak barang niaga secara credit, you just credit. You credit it, then your ABB bertambah. Angkutan masuk, the shipping fee, Faida, you got interest to pay. You know, all this will increase your belum bayar. Account kawalan belum bayar. But then, if you want to reduce it, how to reduce your liability? You need to pay money. You perlu pulangkan wang. You perlu bayar. Therefore, when you bayar dengan bank, you actually reduce. You debit gun, you actually reduce your liability. You terima discount. When you get discount, you pay lesser, isn't it? When you pulangkan belian, you pulangkan barang niaga kepada your the pembekal, you just you, you will be paying lesser, isn't it? So this are uh, how you look at this kawalan belum bayar and kawalan belum terima. That's why they are in the debit and credit side. They have a reason to it. All right? Do you understand or not? <laughs> if yes, give me a you lah. Okay, you for understand in the chat box. Okay, but of course. By just telling you how it works, it doesn't work. <laughs> All right. So I'm just letting you know so that you can understand like eh, why like Berlian on the credit side of your balloon buyer, but why is Jolan in the debit side. Okay. So it's just to let you know. But it doesn't mean that you know how to do. All right. So later in next class, okay, when we do the question, then you'll be faham how to put all these things into the account column balloon terminal. All right, so give your mark. Homework will be uh, for today. Okay, so you go to page homework uh, today. You go to page ninety eight. Do question four. Page hundred. We do question seven, page hundred and three. We do question thirteen and fourteen. So these are the four questions that you need to do today. Hold on, let me see one o three. So now everyone look at page one o three. Okay. So when you look at page one o three, question thirteen, you you can see there is a buku tunai right. Okay, so same thing. If the solemn one you do from buku cadang pertama into ledger and you see a buku tunai there, you don't have to record buku tunai. All right, and let's go to page 100. Page 100, look at question 7. Okay, now, we look at your question 7 on page 100, you see that under the Kentucky first one, Merekokan urus niaga ke dalam buku tunai dan ledger. Is it or not? So now, you just need to do the buku tunai. The buku tunai will have all the uh, the tunai, account tunai and account bank in the buku tunai. And then, on top of that, you do other ledger. Okay, you don't have to book up account tunai and account uh, bank again because you already got the buku tunai. Okay or not? If okay, give me an okay in the chat box. Yeah, so if okay, then you may leave the class and I will see you in next week. All right, so take care. Goodbye, everyone.